next video is going to be a review test, kind of. This is Dr. Killigan's Pantry Moth Trap. It has six moth traps in it. I did a video on this before, but I'm going to do a very unfair video right now, and let me explain what this is all about. That is one of those fruit bugs, the little bugs that you get in the house when you go to the store and you buy fruit and all of a sudden you've got all these little black bugs floating around your kitchen sink and your bathroom, uh, the shower drain, the bathtub drain. Some people call it fruit bugs or whatever, I don't know what they're called. Other people call it drain bugs, bugs that f live in the drain, f come flying out, roam around your house. Let me show you another one. It really doesn't want to focus. That is in the cabinet on some uh, pasta. A little uh, rice bowl over there. Now this trap is meant for wheat bugs, bugs that you're going to find in your wheat, in your rice, the moths, the wheat bugs, the, uh, the bugs that you're going to find if you buy sunflower seeds to feed the birds. You buy those big packages, you're going to have all these moths floating all over the place. So this trap is really not meant for this black flying thing that I'm talking about. But that's the beauty of YouTube and study and science and learning is I'm going to set the trap up and I'll check back in a couple days, maybe a couple hours, we'll see. And then I'll post the video. Does this work? Is this one of the options we can use to get rid of some of these drain bugs? Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Either way, help out the channel, subscribe. I'll leave an affiliate link in the video description if you want to order these. They definitely work for uh, the bugs that I had in my packages, my 50-pound bag of sunflower seeds that I opened up the bag and there were bugs all over the house for months. Bought this stuff, took care of it. So this company is really good. Let's check it out. I'm going to set it up. I'm not going to show you what's inside here. It's a little trap. You can uh, fold it up as a little trap house. Or you can just leave it laying, uh, lying flat on the counter or wherever you want to set this up. It's an indoor trap. I'll be back in a couple days and we'll see what happens. So you get six of these things individually packaged. And what you're supposed to do then is you've got a protective coating on here. You peel it off. It exposes the pheromones. Uh, these uh, wheat bugs, whatever you want to call them, they're attracted to a scent. So I, I don't know if it's the male. It's probably the male because you know us guys, we're always sniffing for stuff. Um, we're attracted to that smell. So I don't know if it's the males or the females that are attracted to the pheromone. And they get stuck on here. And once you don't have one of the sexes here, the other can't mate. So they've got to go in the, in the closet in the dark and go blind. And that's why you buy these things, I think. I'm going to pull off the protective coating now. And we'll check it out in a couple days. There it is, all set up. Now, like I said, if you want to, you could fold this. See this little opening over here? And the opening there, you could fold it into a little housing thing, a little box. And they would crawl inside. I don't want to do that, mainly because I don't want to do it. And also because it would be very difficult to walk in the room and see if there are bugs in there. So I just want to leave this flat. Let them fly on here if they want to. These are not cheap, I'll be honest with you. This uh, A six-pack, is it costs some bucks, but if it works, that's all I care about. Get these bugs out of the house. That one hasn't moved. The one and the other two haven't moved. Let's see what happens over time. Whoop! Here we go. Follow up on the results of using the pantry moth trap. The good news is there are no moths on the trap. So that's good news and bad news. The good news is I don't have those uh, wheat moths or any flying wheat moths or bugs in my place, but it did not attract the fruit bugs. It's not supposed to attract the fruit bugs. I was hoping it would attract the fruit bugs. They are flying all over the place, but it did not work for that. I wish that it did. So. Uh, it's still a good product, it's just not meant to get the fruit bugs. It's meant to get the moths. 